In this video, I'm going to tell you how to combine two partitions of one hard disk, SSD or USB drive into one, or how to extend one partition at the expense of another within a Windows operating system, and how you can do it with standard system utilities or third-party programs. If you face the need to extend the system partition or another partition on your hard disk, for example, if one of your partitions is almost full, you can choose between several ways of solving this problem. It's either moving the data to another disk or extending the, this partition at the cost of another one, as long as it's possible. Later on, I'll show you what means of your operating system can help you cope with the problem and what third-party apps can help you merge partitions without losing the important data. You can combine two partitions of a storage device into one with the help of a standard utility within your Windows operating system – the disk management. You can find it by right-clicking on the Start menu and selecting it from the list. Or by right-clicking on this PC, Manage, Disk Management. In the window that opens, you will see the list of all your disks, their size, file system, and other data. Combining two partitions into one is no rocket science, but before you, you make it, make sure that the two partitions really belong to one hard disk. As you can see, my computer has two separate hard disks, and one of them is divided into two partitions of 200 GB each. These are the partitions I can combine, or I can use one of them to extend the other. Yet it's impossible to combine two different hard disks into one. As you can see, in this case the function Extend Volume is inactive. Before you start combining partitions, you need to delete the existing volume which you will use to extend the other partition. To do it, right-click on it and select Delete Volume. As a result, there is a window warning you that deleting the volume will destroy all its data. So if there is anything worth keeping, copy such information to another device. Watch another video on our channel about recovering accidentally deleted data. Find the link in the description. Choose Yes to confirm your decision. When the operation is over, you will see a partition containing some unallocated space. Now you can move on to combining, so right-click on the disk you want to extend and select Extend Volume. In the next window, you can choose how much space you would like to add to the existing disk. By default, all the available space is selected, but you can change the size in this line. Click Next and then Finish. When the process is over, you'll see a disk of large size or several disks if you didn't use all the available space for extending. This is the end of combining disk partitions. Such method will, will work with both conventional hard disks and SSDs. You can watch one of our videos to see how to split a disk into partitions. Find the link in the description. There are also lots of third-party apps to help you combine partitions without losing your data. One of those worth mentioning is a free utility AMA Partition Assistant. With this application, you'll be able to extend a disk at the cost of another disk and without losing a single bit of data. To do it, right-click on the disk you are going to use for extending another disk, in my case the donor disk will be disk G, and choose Change Partition Size. On the left, drag the slider to select the necessary amount of space to add to the disk which you want to extend and then click OK. Then right-click on the disk which you want to extend, in my case that's disk H, select Change Partition Size and in the window that opens drag the slider on the right until the free space is filled, and then click OK. Click Apply to start the process and agree to begin combining the disks. When the operation is over, you will see a notification that all operations have been completed successfully. Now let's check the disks. As you can see, their size has changed, but the information stored on them is still available and intact. In this program, you can also merge all partitions of a disk without losing data. To begin, right-click on one of the partitions you are going to merge. It should be the one which is treated as primary when merging and the one where all data will be saved. Select Merge. Choose all partitions you want to merge, and the letter below will be the name of the final partition you get after merging. The data from the other partition can be found under this path. Then click OK and apply. 
If one of the partitions is a system partition, you'll have to restart your computer, and this process will be longer than usual. When your PC restarts, you'll see that the partitions have been merged into one, and the data previously stored in the second partition is now saved on the new partition with the corresponding letter. As you can see, the procedure itself is not too complicated. But if you are a beginner and there is some important information on the disks, it's recommended to copy it to another device which is not going to be affected by the merging operations. All these methods can be applied to a conventional hard disk or an SSD. The merging process is similar in Windows 10, 8 or 7. If you split your USB drive into partitions, there is a special video guide about it in our channel, and the link is in the description. And now you're wondering how to roll back these changes. Run the command prompt as administrator and then type the following commands one by one. Disk port List disk After you type the command, you have to find out the number of your flash drive. In my case, it's number 2. Now type the command select disk2 and add the number of the disk. Follow it with the command clean to destroy all data in this USB drive. After that, just go to disk management, right click on it and select new simple volume. Now the USB drive has one partition of the corresponding size. And that is all for now.